So I will be making the clothing brand drop for y'all, but I also have my homeboy behind the camera, which he is learning how to start his own clothing brand. So basically y'all learn it together, man. good youtube it is digital hustler back with another video y'all and look in today's video i'll be showing y'all how i started my clothing brand in my room and how you can use dtf sheets and a heat press to start making clothes man currently on the channel right now we have 16,342 subscribers i appreciate every single person that watches that subscribes and that comments on the video but we're gonna go ahead and get started so first what you will need it's a handy dandy heat press. You can get these. I'm going to leave the link in the description of the video that I've dropped showing y'all where I got my heat press from. This is actually the second heat press that I bought, which is 16 by 20. And look, man, uh, what I did was I initially bought my first ever heat press, you know, cool little investment. I didn't try to go too crazy. I just wanted to get something so I can start. And I actually made a video with that heat press which is at 100k right now so y'all go watch that video also so y'all can see the journey from where we started and where we at today next thing you're gonna need is of course is the blanks blanks now i got these from mono t-shirt i just dropped a video on these like weeks ago i'm not sure once again i'm gonna try to put the eye up so y'all can go watch those videos but like i said mono's t-shirt this is shock aware you know good cotton me they actually have a website also i did review their website so the last website that i reviewed on my channel is them it's like a to z wholesale something i don't, I don't know but look man like i said the blanks right here i got a couple blanks that i actually need to make for the you know my clothing brand drop so i will be making the clothing brand drop for y'all but i also have my homeboy behind the camera which he is learning how to start his own clothing brand so basically y'all learn it together man i'm just showing y'all how we finna do this you feel me <laughs> all right y'all so look i got some dtf transfers right here which i got from ninjatransfers.com i'm telling y'all y'all gonna get a lot of game in this video so make sure you stay tuned you like comment and subscribe when i first started my clothing brand i actually started with the cricket maker 3 which with this one you can initially only print one color so if y'all haven't watched my last video what initially what the heat cricket maker does it, it cuts in one color so as y'all can see this is puff print I'm not sure which puff print my boy you i did an unboxing video for a supporter he sent me some clothes man so I had to get my boy right with the video the unboxing video y'all make sure y'all tune in with that video it's the last video that i dropped so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and react to these dtf transfer sheets i did some previous work for someone else like a week ago and Basically, I made her 12 aprons. I'm gonna put a picture right here. Basically, did 12 of these aprons. It only took me like about an hour and 30 minutes to do 12 of them. I'm not gonna lie, transfers is way better, in my opinion, to save time. As y'all can see, this was way bigger, actually, the transfer sheet. But I got some transfers for my last clothing brand drop. Like I said, I will be making that today. All right, so look, we're gonna do the black one, which is Hustler's Club, the card, and the Welcome to the Fabulous Digital Hustler sign. Yeah, man, let's get to it. Some extra things that you would be needing is some scissors and a ruler. So basically, this will be the mock-up that we'll be making in person. As y'all can see, the Hustler Club, the DHS logo on the back. We got the card because we're going to play any card that we was dealt in life. And then we got the Welcome to Digital Hustlers you know, sign because, hey, welcome, you feel me? But look from these pngs that i got what i did was i went to ninjatransfers.com this is not a paid promotion by any means but like i said i did like what i did for when my last work so we're gonna see what this looked like to be honest so i'm really giving them a promo before i even see what it looks like for real but i'm pretty sure it's gonna come out good but yeah i basically went on there i uploaded the images you know paid the fee and it took about like a week to like it was like from like four days to a week to get here so yeah definitely go check them out if you want to get some dto transfers certified by the kid but we finna go ahead and get started so like i said we have the shirt right here and one thing that i like to do for every single shirt 
when I make clothes, it's always heat press it first. So yeah, you want to get the garment ready to actually heat press the transfers on there. Another thing that you will need is a Teflon sheet. And basically what this is, it protects this, the transfers from not like, I guess since you know you are using the heat press that is like 300 degrees, you don't, <laughs> you don't want to, you feel me? You don't want to cut too deep into the transfers and whatever your heat press on there. Let me go ahead and put this on 300. Yeah, I'm not as I'm not the best with the terminology, so look, y'all, y'all understand what I'm trying to say. I don't need it to be on 300 for me to heat press it like this, so we're gonna go ahead and get that going. So by you heat pressing in the middle of the shirt, then you get this line right here. And this line is your best friend. And I say that why? Because it helps you align the transfers on there. So everything will be looking a-okay. And one thing I like to do, like I said, you will need a ruler. And I like to place the ruler onto the shirt. So like I said, this is 20 inches by 16. So I put the ruler on this side and then I measure it to where in the middle of the line is where the 10 is at. And what that does basically just shows you that the line is in the middle of the heat press so everything can be perfectly heat pressed on there correctly. Same thing with this, 10, it starts here and it ends off at 10. So do that from top to bottom or from bottom to top, it really doesn't matter. Basically, this was like this the bottom sheesh am I gonna have enough space the cards like this so I gotta cut this out more do a little bit of I don't even know what this called right? <laughs> a little bit of arts and crafts real quick nah for real that's what I was trying to say arts and crafts Yeah, man. I didn't get the right measure measurements for the back. I mean, if you just say nothing, I probably wouldn't have noticed. Shit, I know. Like I said, this is, you know, a mock-up. This is a blank. And obviously, for those that are starting to close a brand and have their design, that y'all know how big or small y'all want it. So, this is just a trial and error for me. Even though it still looks, you know, proportional, like my boy says, but... Um, that's the only thing with the Teflon sheet sometimes, it's not going to cover the whole thing if you don't have a big enough size. So we're going to see if it does make a difference. I don't think it should. We're going to go ahead and keep press because there's some things that are not under the Teflon sheet. For times like this, can you use like multiple Teflon sheets? Or... Yeah. Okay. yeah, you could. You could definitely use multiple Teflon. And right now you just letting the cool, all right? Yeah. Yo, I actually waited this time, y'all, and that was the most cleanest pill we had all day. <laughs> yep, there it is. Coming straight off like butter. So yeah, I would definitely say let it cool off for about 30 seconds. I literally just waited for like 15 just now. But the longer you wait, the better it should come out. It's all about the details. You know what I'm saying? And now, once again, like I said, we're going to do another press. So as y'all just seen, there's not much of a difference between Teflon, no Teflon. Um, but I would still recommend y'all to get y'all Teflon sheets this video i will be ordering another gang sheet this was about 104 dollars. i wish i would have took a picture of the whole gang sheet when it first came in but like i said i had some orders that i had to push out for someone else but um what i would say is 
that to make, so basically from them 12 aprons that I made, I made about $150. You know, that's what I charged the person. And then I had this clothing brand drop, which was all those designs. And then I still have another you know, shirt design. So this is what a gang sheet is. It's just a big sheet. I paid $105 for it. So just imagine, right? I made $150 from a small, you know, a portion of that gang sheet. And then I have another shirt, which I can sell for $50 or $45. And then I have another shirt that I can sell for $45. So that's in total 150, 45, 45, that's 90, 150, 90. That's about like 240, 250, something like that. You know what I'm saying, taxes. But look, what I'm saying is the return that you're gonna get is way better. Um, and the thing is, I didn't even use these, like for example, all this space that I have in between here, I could have put some more designs and stuff like that. So it's a bang for your buck. You know what I'm saying? You 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 save time, and in my opinion, you save money because my manufacturer was trying to charge me twenty dollars to make a shirt. Right? This shirt that I just made, it took me about thirty minutes, and it's done. So, and I only spent what seven, seven, eight dollars for the shirt itself, and that's it. So basically that's eight plus, let's say you spend $5 for the gang sheet for that one design. That's $13. I sell it for 45. That is 32, but that's like $33. Something like, bro, I haven't eight. My bad, that's awful, my bad. Look, so that's like $33 that you just made in profit with that one shirt. So this is what it looks like at the end. After everything is cooled down, everything is heat pressed. Now we're gonna look at the final results. I put this up. Let me see. Yeah, it's way smaller, bro. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, this was just a. What size was the shirt? Large. It probably been like it would probably look better on a medium. Yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this on to see what it looks like. Like I said, I didn't get the size correctly. For the because when I did it with the manufacturer, which y'all did see on my Instagram and stuff, I did everything together. So it was like a big gang, like it was just a big sheet that they used, I'm pretty sure. But these I have to do it individually because like I said, I'm new to this. So this is my first ever DTS transfer heat press shirt. And in my opinion, it came out good. Would I wear this out? Absolutely. I just don't like this part right here. But like I said, we're gonna go ahead and put this on. And yeah. And yeah, man, this is how it looks. Dang, that looks so weird right here. Probably just gonna wear this at work. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, like the front, how it's fitting, the back. You get the logo on the front at the top. Yeah, man, this is what the shirt looks like on me. You can see I have the DHS short, cream shorts that just came out, limited edition, but That'll be the end of this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed and this is what it came out like, you know. Um, definitely have to improve in some mess ups. But that is basically how you make shirts in your room using DTF sheets and a heat press. Like I said, heat press, go to vever.com or you can watch the video that is right here on the eye. Hopefully it should be somewhere around here. But as I said, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. My traders out there, man, y'all keep attacking these markets and everyone else, man. Y'all stay safe out here. DHS is out.